Hey guys, I got a real quick one here. Today I've been meaning to update my switching servers logo um, between my streams. So I decided that, hey, I don't do Photoshop videos, but um, if people are interested in kind of like my thought process and how I make them, I decided that I'm going to just kind of get a go ahead and just kind of start, um, you know, just kind of start a project and kind of complete it. Uh, here's some things that I kind of work on if you guys wanted to see how I did my new overlay. Um, it was pretty simple. You just make a couple of cubes. I got a cool um, picture of somebody in the forest. So if people are wondering like when you're watching the stream, yeah, there's, a, there's kind of like a tree effect and there's like a dude in the forest under the chat, which has been an effect that I've been really liking a lot. So I just kind of tone it down and stuff. And, you know, obviously this was for my offline stream page. So I was like, listen, I need to update this. So I do my daily streams at 7 a.m. The games I play, my YouTube channel, my Twitter account. It's not the best. It's very colorful. I think I'll probably change it eventually, but it's sharp enough and it gets the job done. So uh, anyway, so today I'm going to be kind of doing the same thing. And this is kind of how I run my, my thumbnails for certain things. Now, not it's a little bit messy, I know, but but I like to, uh, I like to make a lot of... Uh, different thumbnails with just one file or multiple files or if I decide to make a new game like Destiny sometimes some of my other stuff kind of gets carried over and you can also kind of see some examples of you know the types of thumbs that I use and you know if I don't uh, if I don't delete them often enough you can see some of my old ones here and it's just for frames of reference and whenever I'm I quickly make thumbnails on the fly so I just chuck some screenshots in and I can quickly work with the same file save it and upload it and then I get to work with kind of like the same style as I was before you know you get different uh, effects to kind of give it more color more color is usually best uh, you don't really want a dark um, thumbnail unless it's kind of niche I remember when I first started my uh, Daisy stuff and again that was I I'm much better at Photoshop now but again I'm still not very good compared to some of these guys that you know do this full time but <laughs> even that was used for last of us a long time ago so I have a lot of stuff in here that just kind of that's sitting here multiple games that I record I kind of get everything up in the same corner here try to keep things consistent um, and that's how I kind of work on my thumbnails obviously this is just simple text um, you know you can highlight the text change colors and what have you but this is kind of the format that I use it's also a format that I've seen a lot of other youtubers uh, use just because it works so well it's not really like you know completely insanity when it goes to like view whoring or anything like that it just kind of tells it what it is you know what the game is the screenshot behind it the logos and stuff you know like no bullshit it's just what it is you know you could do a bunch of rainbow colors and you know highlight a girl with a gun with like big tits or something like that but i mean that's really up to you <laughs> do do what you feel is best um, but this is kind of my style and uh i just like doing it and again it's not not just specifically what i do Thousands of other people do this this type of stuff, so um, it's very similar. But today, intro over, we are going to make a new, um, I guess, switching servers screen for Daisy, and we're going to go into uh, my last couple sessions that I played, and I want to get something that kind of goes with this. So I took another picture that same day. This was probably the best day uh, I've had in Daisy in a while um, when it came to where my system graphics were and just where the setting was it was just so awesome so it was actually fun I was messing around um, yeah I was messing around anyways um, earlier and you can actually like this guy I've actually like cut him out of the picture so like look at this look how awesome this is <laughs> so like you can just like move him around you know a little bit it's not perfect I just did it really quick but you know that's that's pretty boss. Uh, I kind of really like Photoshop. We can set him back in there. You know, maybe we can move him over a little bit. You know how it is. So maybe sit him sit him over here next to the tree. You know, just put him put him back here in the. You know, he's a miniature guy now. <laughs> anyway, uh, I have a lot of fun with this kind of stuff. So, um, anyways, let's uh, let's get that guy back here. Dude. Doop. All right, he's back in the in the proper position, I believe. There we go. So he fits in there really nicely. But anyways, short story short, we also have another picture here. 
which is right here. I believe this is it. It's either this one or this one. Honestly, I kind of like this one the best. So what I'm gonna do is immediately, I'm gonna take this, cause I like working with screenshots the most cause it's, it kind of like tells us the story at least of what, you know, what kind of genres I play. I'm gonna quickly, oh yeah, I'm gonna pull this in and because you can't directly edit smart objects, um, I'm kind of, let me just move back here um, a, little, a little ways. Let's go back to 50%. I'm just going to uh, work with this really quick. Um, I know I do my zoom ins and zoom outs really strange. You can criticize me all you want. It's just the way I do it. Um, and I'm going to go in here. I'm going to fill it up here with content aware. Content aware is probably the easiest and most satisfying things uh, in Photoshop. And basically what I want to do is remove that 100. So I'm going to highlight the selected region. You know, you can shift F5 it if you want. And um, there you go. Cool. Bam on um, it's not perfect but you know if you're not like 200% looking into the picture it kind of removes those dots if you're wondering like how uh, to make your daisy screenshots look a little better um, so we also want to uh, add you know some text um, let's see here let's go with let's go with I like the big noodle that I've been using the big noodle a lot uh, thanks for watching um let's just chuck this up here and the color is irrelevant right now because i can change that really easily let's just throw that up there for reference we'll also be like switching servers like please stand by and we're going to increase the spacing there uh, maybe maybe 230 and eh, 240 and here we go let's go like that you know even like honestly like the it's really big style right now in a lot of photoshop and graphics work where you just have this really simple design like this is the honestly i'm, I'm gonna be like from what i've seen in the professional scene um if you just turn this text white you know it, do, it doesn't even it could be even overlapping with other white you just go in here and you can do this either color overlays or what have you but color overlays are kind of you know good if you want to change the opacity of it but yeah I mean this would be like a good screenshot to a lot of people just because that's kind of where Photoshop and graphic design is uh, right now but we'll probably just do a little bit more to it give it some shadowing not too much though like that's a little bit too crisp you know, so we'll just lighten it up a little bit. It's really hard to notice, but it does make a difference. Um, you know, I'll just also kind of drop that back, just so it's it it kind of it just it pops it a little bit, but it's not too much. Uh, the bottom I might have to uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to increase that just a little bit more. There we go, that's better. Um, I also want to kind of put my overlay somewhere. I'm thinking uh, the overlay chat is going to go right here. So in order to do that, I'm going to have to pull in my overlay from this document, which isn't that bad. All I got to do is, uh, well, there's a number of things that I'm going to have to do here. Uh, if I want to pull in the exact same, uh, you know, darkness and brightness and everything like that, what I will do, what's this? This is the bottom bar. So, if I want to keep the bottom bar, what's this one? Oh yeah, okay, that's the bottom bar. This is the mid bar if I needed that one. So I'm gonna chuck this down here and I'm just gonna duplicate these layers. And we are gonna go over to our picture here. And we're gonna select both of these items and I'm going to like increase it a lot. You know, honestly, that looks pretty awesome, just in itself. This bottom bar probably isn't so necessary. Um, let's add our logo as well. Where are we at? Boom, boom, boom. Let's duplicate that over to our picture. And 
This is probably going to look like complete shit if I increase the size of it. Eh, let's see what it does. It's not so bad. So what I'm thinking about doing here then is we can like add this. So we can also add the recent tipper section. That's where this bar kind of exists. Um, thanks for watching. Or I can also remove this bar, which I think I'm going to do. I like to change my mind a lot. And we're just going to throw this up. You know what? We don't even need to do this. This is already done for me. So I'm just going to go and find where this is here. And then we're going to duplicate this one over. Why do the work a second time? I don't need to do that. I'm lazy like that. That's why it's nice to keep up everything here. Um, the, the shadow on this needs to be adjusted quite substantially, but... I mean... That's pretty decent. Alright, so... I'm gonna just move that. We're gonna line this up with this. I like lining things up. It doesn't look that good. I'll, uh... I'll dip this down just a slight tad. Sometimes you just gotta eye it up when things and shapes are a little awkward like that. And again, we're gonna tone down that incredibly harsh drop shadow. That very, very harsh drop shadow. Like even everything is pretty messed up with that drop shadow. There, that's pretty subtle. Um, and now that we've removed the bottom bar, um, we'll probably just add this and make it a little bit bigger. And apply. And uh, yeah, honestly, that's that's like a huge, huge step that's been completed already. All right, so now that we have this kind of basic thing set up, we can kind of mess with some of the colors of this picture. Although it's looking really good. Um, and it's natural light and everything like that. We can make it a little bit more saturated like not too much because it's kind of like an evening picture So if the color is supposed to start to fade so if we did that it would kind of look like a midsummer's day going on Right, so but if we did too much then it would look a little bit too black and white Honestly black and white doesn't look too bad just because it's you know daisy But we're gonna give it a little bit of color and I want to give it just a little bit of a boost and if we want to like really saturate it up we can but just a little bit, just a slight touch, because obviously, like, you see how, like, it just makes some of the colors pop a little bit better, which is really important. Um, also, I do want to turn that back on, so there we go. And for this layer here, this needs to kind of get darkened up a little bit. Um, right there. So this needs to... Let's throw that there. And this needs some contrast added to it. So we can do some contrast, which is going to affect, actually, a lot of contrast kind of makes that look, in general, everything look pretty badass. See, things kind of happen on accident sometimes. Um, but what I can do then, if I want to make it darker individually, let's put this up a little bit more. There we go. It's kind of an easy trick. If you want to like make something a bit like duller, see how like bright it looks. I mean, it looks cool, like, it kind of looks like if it was, like, a little bit of a TV, which is kind of what I did before. But, uh, you can, like, darken up an image if you paint it black as a solid, and then lower the opacity up a little bit. I mean, and you can do that in multiple ways. Like, I made... This is kind of also a really big style right now. So, if you're doing Photoshop and stuff, and you want to do it, make banners and what have you. Like, I made this kind of using this style, right? So what I did was I just had this big square. I cut this section of the picture out. I put a, you know, black color, you know, uh, what is it called? Uh, color overlay. And then I lowered the opacity. So this was darker than the original picture. Then you can put your text in here and whatnot. So it makes good for like advertisements just to make that text pop out a little bit more. And it looks really, really sexy right now. It's kind of one of the, uh, it's kind of one of the better styles that is really popular in my opinion this is another example of it right here so if you're doing like the machines and everything just kind of give some some subtitles i mean i could just do it here as well but i just don't think it would really fit 
we can try just to kind of show you how it's done. So it's it's not that hard. You just you literally just select what you want, and let's just do that for example. This could turn out to look much cooler than I think, but I don't know if it's gonna work for this. And then we just go to this right here and uh, go to color overlay. Yeah, let's just go black, and it kind of works a little bit. Let's see. Like it's 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 not that bad. Like some people would probably want to keep it, other people wouldn't. But because I already have this here, I don't. I think it's just a little bit too much. You know, let's just keep the entire picture. Looks pretty cool to me. So I think, other than that, I can do more things to it. But this is probably a good start. Um, probably add some YouTube links here. Um, I could probably do some donation stuff going on right here. Um, you know, recent followers and subscribers if I get the sub button. So, but this is kind of like the general thought process that I would do. So if I want, if you just want to see an example of what that would look like, let's just chuck some, some of this stuff in there. Again, duplicating it over just because it's already created for me here. So I might as well use it. And, uh, yeah, so we have, thanks for watching. So we have follow me on Twitter. Hey guys, so that pretty much covers my first Photoshop video. Here is the final product, which you'll now be able to see on my live stream every single time I'm switching servers. You can't see it right now because this is just the static picture, but in the overlay, it's actually where people's chat shows up. Whenever people are typing comments uh, on the video, that's where it actually shows up. So if you guys are interested in more of these types of videos, I would love to do some because I love Photoshop a lot. It's really fun to use. It's a great program. So if you guys thought this useful or if you found it entertaining, let me know and I'll produce some more whenever I'm creating some random project that comes to my mind. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one and I'll see you guys on my daily live streams.